Spark plug wires. Not just any though. We're gonna check out the MSDs. Let's get to it. What's going on guys, Meta here, Lethal Garage, and today I wanna talk about spark plug wires. As you guys know, we've done all sorts of stuff with the Lethal Camaro. Recently, we just changed out the plugs and wires, and I went back with the OEM factory wires, which I hate to break it to you guys, they're not completely terrible. They may not be the best out there, they may not have the least resistance out there. There's a lot of different brands and setups that you can go with. MSD, what was it? I wanna say Ghirardelli's, it's not chocolate. <laughs> it's, what was the name of that company? Why am Granitelli. I forgetting? Granatelli. Is it JBA makes this? There's a ton of companies that make sets of these. OEM ones, these are actually my old ones that came off the motor before we refreshed the motor and we found the metal, which was the sprocket on the timing chain and the timing chain itself, not anything inside the motor, thank God. Um, but today we have, where did I put them? They're somewhere. <laughs> today we have MSD wires. Now. Some of you out there would be like, lethal, I've had problems with them. They don't work. Or I, I've, I've had a couple problems with them or I've had issues or I've seen problems or I've heard people have problems. You know what? I've heard the same thing with factory. I've heard it with a couple other brands. And honestly, I wanna put it to the test. I'm gonna put some MSDs on my car. My car makes decent power. We're running an aftermarket spark plug. We're running the NGKs. Um, and we haven't really had any issues with them um, outside of C16 buildup causing some misfires. Outside of that, the NGKs have been working pretty good. They're not too bad priced. Today, we're gonna install them. It's super easy to swap these out. And uh, yeah, see the hood strut failed. <laughs> Wait, we're, I'm not supposed to be using hood strut with this hood, or at least not the factory ones. And I only have one at that, not bueno. But let's get these installed. So some of you may be asking, Matt, what is the reason why you would go with aftermarket wires well a lot of it comes down to resistant they claim emi suppression i don't even know what emi is let's see emi noise level even with its load resistance the msd 8.5 millimeter sc wire still suppresses emi in fact at 100 megahertz same as your fm station the superconductor produces over 10 times less background noise i'm not, i don't know about you maple i don't think we're hearing our wires are you hearing your wires uh, no I think our exhaust take care of that. So I'm not really, uh, okay. <laughs> I'm not a supporter of the, uh, it reduces electrical noises, whatever. Um, but the big thing is, is just the resistance. So the less resistance you have, the more pure direct spark or electricity or signal you're getting to your spark plug or your coil pack to your spark plug. So overall there's plugs out there that claim they have zero resistance, uh, but in this instance, they claim 40 to 50, which is a lot lower. And I guess there's some out there are OEM plugs that they've tested that could be 10,000 ohms per foot, which I don't think the stock wires are having that issue whatsoever. So in this instance, we're gonna swap them out. We, we do get a, an added bonus of red wires instead of gray. So maybe it will dress it up a little bit, but that's about it. So now let's go install these. Okay, so I have a stock wire here and I wanna show you some differences. Oh, guys, they're stickers. That's, that's at least five to 10 horsepower. You're running sevens now. Oh, yes. Sixes. Oh. <laughs> terrible. No. Cool. I, I, I'm, I love stickers. You call me a terrible person, but stickers are, they make me happy. So this setup here, look at, you can see the, here, we'll take that off. They're actually, yeah, they're almost the same size. They're a little shorter, which is okay. Cause uh, you can see down in here, we have plenty of, uh, set up and if it's shorter it's just going to keep it that much further away from the header so in this instance we're just going to do a direct swap and i'm going to do this on one real quick let's get to one that's easy to get to so it just pulls right off so stock plugs now if you want you can take your the the shroud off on the heads and that does make it a little easier and there you go so if anything i'm just making sure the angle is good 
these could probably bend just a, you probably want a little bend on that there you go that looks better so we kind of have like a little arc <clears throat> as maple was saying these can bend up to 45 degrees and you can see down in here now it's just a nice smooth arc so pretty straightforward pretty easy so let's get the rest of these on and call it a day these back ones are a little bit harder to get to <laughs> get my fat finger over it there we go see this is why i'm not a mechanic i'd have to charge everybody a thousand times more because to do a simple spark plug somehow <laughs> take me an hour <sighs> wire spark lay i'm getting myself <laughs> this side sucks most people will be smart and remove that radiator overflow but you know i'm all for it doing it the hard way okay we officially hate number two hey professional mechanics let us know what you think of number two why is this such a pain it might probably be easier if i took the cover off but well now it would be yeah uh... but getting that back bolt is just as pain if you don't have the right tools i don't have a swivel allen head and even having a rounded edge allen is not easy to get to that back bolt which sits way the hell back there i had to, i had to get maple in here because i literally sliced my fingers up hands up a million different ways trying to get in here oh i don't like you <laughs> i don't like you number two it's all about number one <laughs> actually it's like number what was it one two three four five number five is the easy one okay so after a few cuts and bruises how's your hands you're good you just did the one oh, i broke my pinky though. oh the ladies are back msds are installed so now we can fire up the car and see if it's misfiring see if we even did it right that that looks clean i don't worry about that side definitely adds horsepower <laughs> So I'm gonna drop the key in there, reach over, and watch, there'll be no remote detected. Oh, look, no remote detected. I think the sensor got moved when we ripped out the center console. Come on. Really? You're gonna do this to me right now? It obviously sees the remote because the doors are unlocking. There it goes. Just doing a quick verification. I have a heat sensor laser and uh, we're getting some good temps across all the headers. I mean, obviously if there's a misfire, you typically will hear it, but because I have a big cam and my, uh, my blower sounds like poo, literally sounds like it's eating itself. <laughs> it is what it is, but we're firing on all cylinders currently. We'll keep a close eye on it, but there you go. MSD wires. It made it red. I don't know, does it, is that add horsepower? You know, pe people like to claim these things add horsepower to your car. I don't believe that claim whatsoever, um, but you'll get clean spark, everything will run. Supposedly these are better than OEM, we'll find out. I know there's other products out there. Would love to hear in the comments below what you guys are running or what you've looked into. But uh, yeah. You ran your first nine with one of these. It was black though. That, that is true. I, I had a black one that replaced my bad OEM one. So thanks, Maple. <laughs> but there you have it. MSD installed. Lights, comments, shares. Appreciate it, guy. Thanks for checking out the channel. And until next time, see you on the road. I feel like the camera being on my head made that bad, but yeah, until next time guys, I'll see you on the road.